Hi there, Luke here with episode eight of our Your Trip 2020 travel series. From where we last left off in episode seven, we were staying in the city of Bordeaux. And in the morning, we took an early morning train ride from Bordeaux to the city of Salah la Canede. The train ride here was really quite beautiful and you got some lovely views from the train window. The day that we arrived just happened to be the day of the Grand Marché, which just translates to Big Market. And it was just a great outdoor experience where you have a variety of vendors selling things like foods and different handicrafts. The next morning, we enjoyed a lovely breakfast that was included in our accommodation before heading to our next destination, which was the town of Figeac. We arrived in Figeac and the town was really cute and really pretty. And the particular things that we enjoyed were the bridge in town, as well as the riverside restaurants and cafes that are sprinkled right along the river. We also really enjoyed walking around the old town of Figeac and there's a nice walking route that you can take to the church. This church located on top of a hill is great even aside from the church itself just for the panoramic views that you get of the town. This town is also famous for being the birthplace of François Champollion, who was one of the influential interpreters of the Rosetta Stone. For those of you who don't know what the Rosetta Stone is, it was very important in translating a lot of Egyptian, ancient Egyptian writings. We got back to our Airbnb and we're very happy that our Airbnb host was kind enough to give us a free bottle of rosé. So we very much appreciated that, enjoyed the rest of the evening just having a bottle of rosé to ourselves in our cute little Airbnb. The next morning, we got up very early, even for our standards, because we had a train scheduled for 5.15 in the morning to go from Figeac to the town of Najak, which is this ridiculously beautiful medieval town on top of a hill and was just something that we did not even anticipate we would fall in love with as much as we did. While I know that having to get on a train that early is totally ridiculous to most people who are going on a holiday in France, I will say that one redeeming factor of doing this is that we had the most wonderful time arriving just around sunrise, walking up this hill. That, to be fair, was quite difficult to walk up, but offer just better and better and better views. And as you approached this beautiful medieval castle town, it was just so surreal experiencing it with the particular way that the light was hitting the buildings and not having any people around. We felt like we had stepped back in time into this medieval period with this just gorgeous, stunning, really quaint medieval style town. We were just pinching ourselves and we did not feel bad at all about having to get up early because this made it all worth it in the end. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's entirely the town itself or the time of day that we arrived or the fact that there really weren't many tourists at all in this town, but there was just something, a magical feeling that we had that we could not believe. It was just one of our favorite places that we visited in all of France. We proceeded to our hotel that we had booked so that we could drop off our bags and proceeded to just walk around the town a bit more and visited the highlight of the whole town, which is the Chateau de Najac. 
This castle is what towers over this particular town as well as the valley at all sides. So it's really a great vantage point to immerse yourself in some of the history of this medieval fortress city on top of a hill, as well as get great panoramic views of the surrounding nature in this area. Once we were done exploring the town and just having a nice rest of our day, we decided to head back to our hotel and enjoy some beers on our balcony and just enjoy the wonderful views of the hills in the distance. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that kind of getting a glimpse into some of the beautiful medieval towns that we were able to experience, that we have given you even the slightest inkling of travel inspiration for a future trip to France for yourself. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for further videos like this. Stay tuned for our next video where we explore the areas of Albi, Toulouse, and Biarritz. See you then. Bye.